All right, so here's the bike, half taken apart. Um, you can see the floor pieces there. That's my manual. Uh, of course, all the tools. Body panels, more body panels. Right over here between a couple of our other bikes. Body panel, some pieces. Um, I figured I would spare you guys the details of actually pulling everything off because that's really boring. So, it took me the greater part of the morning. Um, only hiccup I've had so far is right here. Um, this little piece right here. That was not in the bike. Um, these tubes were not designed for wires to run through them. Uh, they're just kind of a structural thing. But I figured, hey, it's going to protect these wire better than anything else in the world. So I, I had to run to my local hardware store right there uh, and buy some. Um, I would have preferred rubber. These are a hard plastic, but they went in all right. Um, 45 cents, which is a little more than I really wanted to spend. But I don't know how loud that airplane is going to be. It's probably going to drown out my voice. But I didn't feel like driving all the way to my place of employment, Menards, to pick up some rubber grommets, which probably would have ended up being cheaper, but oh well, whatever. Uh, so basically, this is where I'm at so far. I've got the wiring running to the two front tire, or to the two front lights at front tires, because I have two front tires on my bike. Um, to the two front lights, I'm using a splitter cable here that came with the extra lighting I have. So I kind of want to keep everything back in the seat storage here and then I'm thinking up in there I might run the line out to and kind of have that be the central point where everything meets. I'm not positive yet. Uh, had the wires been a little bit longer for these front lights I wouldn't have had any issues but they're just a hair too short. Uh, I don't have any of the lights actually like set up yet. They're just kind of sitting here. Let me sneak my way around here. They're just kind of sitting here for right now. Uh, let me turn them on. Yeah! Uh, so I've got four brightness settings here. As you can see there. And then those are pretty much the only four I can really legally use on the road, I think. I have this. Which, while it's sick as anything, definitely not street legal. <laughs> and I don't want to get pulled over for this. So this will be a parking lot thing for before I pull out. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I just have one flashing, strobing thing here. I don't really notice any difference. And then I have this. This is... I don't know. It would maybe be street legal. Again, I'm probably just going to end up using this as a parking lot kind of a thing. Because, again, I don't fancy getting pulled over. And then, of course, it turns off. So, that's pretty sweet. Uh, so, those two are going to get mounted right up in here and then on this side right here I just gotta clean everything off and uh, yeah, make sure it's real clean then measure it so they're even I think probably about an inch and a half two inches set back and then apply the adhesive and get it set in place I have checked just in case anybody's wondering the um, the front forks here when it rotates it's completely clear of that so I have no worries there um, I don't know where I'm putting other lights because I initially had that. Oh, I'll put them on the like the underbody of the bike where all the body panels pulled off over here. But I can't because uh, I don't know which body panel pieces those are. But um, I like leaning probably a little too much. I like leaning as much as I can. And I have on several occasions scraped that. I don't want to put lights there, which is going to take up like half an inch or so. I mean, it wouldn't kill anything. But, uh, yeah, I don't want to be running and then rip my lights off because that could mess up everything. And it's like 100 bucks. I don't want to wreck 100 bucks because I'm leaning too much. So I'm going to shut up here and I'll see you again in a minute. Okay, so I'm not sure how much of this you're really going to be able to see um, off camera here to the lower left. I have a five quart ice cream pail with soapy water in it. And then obviously what was at one point like two minutes before I started using it and then actually like two seconds before I started using it a nice white rag and you can tell there's a lot of dirt and grime and grunge on there you want to wash all that off 
um, to get the best possible surface adhesion. So I'm going to wash it twice, and then I'm actually going to do a a pass with alcohol as well, just to make sure I've got all the oils and everything off. Um, no be taping or uh, measuring. All right, so I swabbed it down with alcohol to make sure I got rid of all the greases. Uh, and then I decided on a two inch setback here. Uh, three inches was just a little too far, and it caught up into this piece. I didn't want to deal with that, so two inches it is. So I'm just gonna take my tape measure here. Now I, I found a spot that's even on both sides, which you probably can't see in the video here. No, there's a spot where two body panels join. So that's what I'm basing my bottom measurement off of for the bottom of the track will sit. And it's going to end up right about here, so it's pretty much just the perfect length. So I'm just going to go through, put little dashes here. Now if you're worried about people seeing little black dashes on your bike, you care too much about your bike, I'm sorry. Um, it really is not going to kill you. And besides, who in their right mind looks at the inside of the front wheel well on a motorcycle? So, that is that. We got the little marks there. I'm assuming you can... Yeah, you can see some of those. Now, because it, it's a dark spot in here, I actually just kind of tucked the light up in there and had it shining. So now we're just going to pull off the red tape here. And by that, I mean the protective film that's on the tape. We're not actually going to pull the adhesive itself off. That would be very silly to do. And then we're going to line this up at the point on the bottom, which, of course, is off camera and you can't see. And then just kind of run it through at those little black lines I made here. And this tape's, this tape's pretty adhesive, um, but you do want to hold it down for about 30 seconds. Refer to the owner's manual for exact instructions to ensure optimal bonding. Um, you also could have used the 3M, what did they call it? I don't know, it's something they try to sell you. I opted not to buy it because I figured I don't really need it, but it is an adhe adhesion promoter is what it was. Uh, if you did opt to buy that, you would, of course, install that before you put the glue down here. Or what am I saying glue? Before you put the tape down. Uh, and then, yeah, you pretty much hold in place for 30 seconds, which is, would be super boring, so I won't show you all that. All right, now it's a little difficult to see here because I have all the ambient lighting from outs of doors shining in. But you can see here pretty well. That looks amazing! So it's going to look exceptionally amazing when it's actually dark out and I'm like driving down the road. Though of course, make sure you check your local laws to see if this is legal for you. Chances are it is not. In Wisconsin, only thing I have legal is just the solid. Um, I'm pretty sure even this is illegal, so I will just be using this on the roads, using this in parking lots when I want to show off how cool my bike is. Well, here it is, finished product. We've got the four intensity settings. Of course, we always need it on maximum brightness. The blinking. And I realize you can't see much because uh, it's pretty dark in here. The slow fade. Yeah. Kind of walk around here. I put some lights in the center on the ground, which of course you can't see. I'm just going to put this onto the solid. You can't see them, but you can tell they're lighting. In the rear here, um, right there the lights are, of course. Um, I mean, there's not, I mean, it's not like this is a crotch rocket or a motorcycle. I don't have big pipes or really any exposed, anything fancy to look at. So it's just pretty much illumination for the bike. Again, I have the, the underground lighting there. And I have a ton of stuff all over the place here, so it's hard to navigate through. And then in the front, let me just run. In the front, we got the two sets of lights shining down at the tire. Uh, it's really hard to see with the video here, at least on the preview screen I have on my camera. You, I really don't see anything. It's pretty much just bright spots of pink. But it really does just illuminate things. You can really see it well on the garage door there. It illuminates out like that. It's doing that everywhere. The camera's just not picking it up with the auto white balance. But there we are. LED glow lights. Uh, I don't know, I started at like 10 o'clock this morning, it's now like 3 o'clock, and I took like a 15 minute lunch break. So, definitely took a long time to do, but most of that was figuring out where I wanted them, running wires, taking them a bike apart to get to all the body panels and run the wires, so. 
I know, so far I'm pretty happy. We'll have to see how these perform out on the road. And I will have an update in a few weeks for you guys.